Well, it's December 2nd, and uh, there's no safe ice, but I've got a couple hours here that I want to get my last fix in for open water fishing. So I'm actually going to be using the ice gear and electronics while open water fishing from the boat because there's no wind right now. So it should be perfect to be able to watch my electronics on the Helix 7 flash remote. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna target some walleye sauger and maybe perch, so. majorly upgraded this year with the striker bibs and this PC fun ice jacket. Heck yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at this poor little dot. He must be crippled or something. What's up, buddy? I don't even know what kind of duck that is. Now what I'm gonna do here is turn the flasher on. And I'm just gonna start by drifting around in this area a little bit and uh, checking things out. Just vertical jigging. It's 12 feet deep here. It's definitely a lot of interference, but I'm just gonna drop this jigging wrap down and see if I can at least see it. I can kind of actually see it down there. But so hard to tell because I'm definitely getting a lot of other crap hole in my way here. There I am showing up pretty good though. So that's kind of cool. I feel like I would definitely see a mark if it came up and smacked me. That's a lot better right now. There's a bunch of stuff going on at the bottom now. Man, are those fish? They must be fish down there. You know what? I gotta drop my underwater camera down here and see what those are. They kind of look like marks, so let's give them the one-two punch. This will be pretty easy to drop this down just 14 feet and see what's happening down there. Give me an idea if I should keep fishing it. For all I know, they're a big school of jumbo perch and I need to downsize or get a real minnow down there, which I do have with me. I hope this is charged. Oh yeah, sweet. Yeah, I still, there's still stuff down there. All right, I'll record it so that if anything cool shows up, I'll be able to share it with you guys. There's my boat. Going down, going down, going down. You can see my, <laughs> that's awesome. You can see my camera going down. And I'm on the bottom. Uh, I kind of just see a lot of rocks right now. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of rock. getting deeper here too. Just a major drop off right here. That's maybe why I was seeing so much interference, just how much rock is down here. I'm gonna make a move.
took me a little bit, but I found the saugers, as you saw on the camera. Finally getting them there. Just caught this little shaver on the blade bait. Just goes to show, even when the water's cold, they'll still, they'll still be aggressive. Shout out to my friend Mike, who, he really knows how to fish the blade baits. Check out his Instagram, Fishing Mission, if you want to see him put the hurt on some blade bait walleyes. There we go, that's me right there. You can see my rod jigging it up. I'm gonna drop the jigging wrap down instead. We'll go solo flasher mode so you can really see it. Buddy, bite it! What in the heck? Dude, I think I just missed him. Oh, Come on, though. He's got to come back. I mean, he's still right there. Dude, they're all over me. What are they? They should bite it with that dang minnow head on it. Oh my gosh, dude, come on. Let me make sure I still have a minnow head. I do, oh my gosh, come on. Get down there. There we go. Got him. Got him. It's actually... Oh, that is so cool, baby. <laughs> I worked that fish for a bit. I almost was wishing I had my ice gear, honestly. That is funny. Gosh. There's another one down there. I'm going to throw this guy back. Surprised it took him that long to bite though. Oh, yeah, there's another one down there. Here we go. 
Let's make them chase more. Oh my gosh, he wanted it so hard. There we go, that's a good fish. Oh yeah, come on buddy. This is actually a good fish. fish. I, I'm shocked the way he was finicky with it. Gosh dang it man. Oh that's painful. That is painful. I do have another little jigging wrap here. It's a slightly smaller one which maybe isn't the worst thing based on their finickiness. Oh my gosh. Well that was cool anyway. Yes. Here's the new one. Well, it's good to know this one still shows up well, too. Oh, man, that was a nice fish. I'm kind of beat up about that one. Dang. I'm using only 8 pound fluoro, and apparently that's. Not good enough. It sucks because I had a good pattern on that one. That, that other one was Rapala. Glow Perch. And this one's, I don't know, some, uh, I think this is like a Plusino brand. It's slightly smaller. I mean, it shouldn't matter that much, right? Maybe I should go reel this in and put another minnow head on it, though. Oh, here we go, right away. Just feathering it. Oh my gosh. Missed them. Missed that one. How did I miss that one? He's still gonna be down there though. Oh yeah, he's down there. Come on, buddy. Come back. Hopefully one comes back and when I catch him I can take my glow perch jigging wrap out of his face. That bugger. Just twitching it. Man, they are finicky. Oh, you Stinker. Gosh dang. It's like I don't know if I should uh, I don't know if I should slow it down, if I should pound the bottom. It's it's weird because I honestly would have felt more confidence had I brought my ice fishing rod out because I'd be fishing them with the rod that I'm used to doing that. See, like if I sit here like this, I'll almost have more confidence. <laughs> oh, shoot. But then I have no hook setting ability, that's the problem. I almost feel like I haven't been aggressive enough with it. Like they want to chase that thing. 
I'm sad because that one bite that broke me off, that would have made the trip. I mean, the trip's made regardless. It's starting to snow right now. How cool is this? Got a fish on me right now. Oh, that's, that's why some of them are being picky. Big old jumbo perch. <laughs> I wouldn't say jumbo, but pretty sweet nonetheless. See, that's where the having that middle head on there is probably pretty helpful. I think I actually might have a, I think I actually did bring one ice rod. It doesn't have braid on it though, but. I do actually have a little ice rod in here. So I'm gonna drop that down instead. See if I can't get something on it. Like this thing has no hook setting ability. I think it's four pound mono. <laughs> so I might be doing everything I can to lose another jig and wrap here. Feels right though. Yes. <laughs> well, that's just too much fun. That's fun. Gosh, that rod just doubled over. If I have a big one come chomp this, I'm in trouble. But it's a trouble that I would embrace. Come here. Nope. But imagine that, they feel big when you're fighting them on four pound mono and an ice rod from the boat. I should just, I'm gonna lose another jig and wrap. That's pretty obvious at this point, but whatever, it's worth it. I'm dropping this one down with a big old chunk of everything on it. You know what, we might as well really make this feel like ice fishing. Let's get the old heater going. Woo. I 
I gotta try the Swedish pimple. Yeah. Turned the heater on and just in time. Because I'm going to need to warm my hands after this bad boy. You know what? He might have to be dinner. It's a beautiful 17 inch wall and I think he's coming home with me. Oh man. This is too much fun. Come on, give me one more. There's a couple of them down there, holy cow. Well, that'll probably do it. I gotta get rolling here. Fish are definitely still there, but there's my buzzer beater. Ironically, I have one more minnow left in the angle. Oh, take that back. I have two. So I might as well throw it out while I'm getting packed up. Pretty awesome night. Time to shut her down. Hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, when I reeled this dead stick in after pulling anchor, this little hairy was hanging on it. It's good to know for the future of this fishery. Everybody make sure you respect it. Keep a couple for a meal and everything, but don't take for granted what we have here. It's a, it's a beautiful thing.